the effects of marijuana use get more and more dramatic over time. That is, uh, the marijuana, when you take it over time, it sinks deeper and deeper into your system. And if you don't do things to balance marijuana as you take it over time, what happens is it gets more deeply rooted into your body. Also, your body has less of an ability to deal with the toxic or poisonous quality of marijuana. Also, the hot nature of marijuana begins to burn up your fluids. And so, uh, that nature of that burn begins in the upper body, the thirst, that's when people get caught in mouth. And then it goes into the digestion, and that's the beginning of uh, the first symptoms you see with that are the munchies. And so, it begins to go there, then it goes into the blood, people begin to get skin problems. From there, it starts to go into when the blood can't nourish the heart, that toxic quality is starting to go into the blood. People build their immune systems to begin to go down. And um, uh, a little bit deeper level of the blood, that we say it doesn't nourish the heart properly, which means it starts to go into the beginning of the nervous system. So they'll start having a little bit of memory issues, and uh, their sleep will get affected. Goes into the liver system, and people begin to get compulsive. Uh, deeper than that, it goes into the kidney system. That's when uh, big memory and learning issues begin. This is really where it starts to affect the brain in a big way. So, there's a progression that happens with marijuana. Now, that's in uh, a normal person who doesn't have any health issues at all. If they continuously expose themselves to marijuana without giving their bodies a chance to recover, or if they don't take it in a balanced way, marijuana is going to take this kind of a progression over time. So the more you take it, the more deeply it's going to affect you. But the thing is, almost nobody goes to the table or comes to the table with a perfect health condition. Everybody has chinks in their armor. Everybody has places where they're weaker. And what happens, marijuana is a very interesting quality. It's, it's what I call a reverse adaptogen. That is, it goes to the place in your body that you would least want it to go to. So, this can really be difficult if you don't do anything to balance marijuana. If you use something to balance marijuana, you can actually use the marijuana as a carrier to go right where you need to. So, this is a very sophisticated... Everything in medicine actually is very sophisticated. But people, in general, want simple answers to things. You ain't gonna get it. Especially with something that is as detailed and as complex as marijuana. There are no simple answers.